Hello friends, welcome to yet another captivating session of Wisdom Zone. This is your bro and friends, I'm quite sure you have already guessed it from the thumbnail that today I have the 29th session of English conversation practice and in today's video, you're gonna get 10 powerful expressions for your English conversation practice. So it is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video carefully to learn all the 10 powerful expressions I'm gonna discuss today. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to this term zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so without wasting any more time let's get started so welcome back friends to this amazing video on english conversation practice and as i have promised today i'm gonna discuss 10 powerful expressions today i have the 29th session on english conversation practice so friends before i go ahead and start discussing all the interesting powerful expressions let me quickly inform all of you that i have provided the previous 28 links on english conversation practice in the description so if you haven't checked those videos yet please do not forget to check the links given in the description so without further ado let's get started with today's video so friends as i have promised today i'm going to give you 10 powerful expressions for your english conversation practice and you can incorporate them in your everyday English conversation as well as writing. So as you see on your screen, the first awful expression is given on your screen that is on and off. Let me repeat on and off. So you can say off and on also, both the same on and off or off and on. So it means once in a while or sometimes. When you want to mean that something that happens sometimes at time, you can say on and off. So let me show you how to use it. She has health issues on and off for three months. That means she has health issues sometimes once in a while she has health issues for three months so i'm quite sure it's clear she's facing health issues sometimes for three months so up next we are going to see the next one the next powerful expression is on your screen that is at a stretch let me repeat once again it's at a stretch at a stretch means without stopping when something is done without stopping non-stop that's called at a stretch so let me show you how to use it during his board exams he studied for 10 hours at a stretch that means he studied for 10 hours non-stop without stopping that's why this expression is used at a stretch so i'm quite sure it's clear how to use this powerful expression and you can use it in your everyday english conversation up next we are going to turn our attention to the third one that is know your limits let me repeat the third powerful expression for today is know your limits it means to know what you are good at that's called to know your limits. That means you know your strengths and you know that what exactly you can do. So that's called know your limits. It's a beautiful way to express. So let me show you how to use it. Intelligent people know their limits. Obviously they do. So I'm quite sure you are going to agree. So up next we are going to focus on the fourth one that is heated argument or discussion. We can say heated argument or discussion. It is a collocation in fact. So heated argument or discussion means a type of discussion or argument where the people involved are angry and excited that's called heated argument or you can also say heated discussion let me show you how to use it we had a short heated discussion about the new policy that means we had a discussion which was heated up that means people were excited and they were angry about the new policy and they were discussing that particular policy and they were angry and excited so i'm quite sure it's clear so you can say heated discussion or you can also say that i had a heated argument with my neighbor last week so you can also use argument so friends the fifth powerful expression for today is money minded let me repeat once again money minded it means interested in money someone who is interested in money or wants to earn money or acquire money so that's called money minded so let me show you how to use it Tom has become totally money minded. That means he has become very much interested in money perhaps or earning money or having money. So I'm quite sure it's clear. So up next we are going to focus on the sixth powerful expression which is on your screen that is in a row. Let me repeat one second. It's in a row. It's a beautiful expression and you can incorporate it in your everyday English conversation. It means one after another without a break. So that's called in a row. You do things when you achieve things one after another without a break that's called in a row so let me show you how to use it it's going to be easier for you so as you see the example we own three matches in a row that means back to back without a break on all the three matches consecutively i'm quite sure it's clear so friends let us focus on the seventh powerful expression for today which is on your screen that is capture 
or catch somebody's imagination so let me repeat once again it's capture or catch someone's imagination it means to make someone very interested or excited about something that's called capture or you can say catch someone's imagination so let me show you how to use it last year Chandrayaan 3 captured the imagination of millions I'm quite sure you have heard of Chandrayaan 3 obviously it captured the imagination of millions so up next we are going to focus on the eighth powerful expression for today that is feel sorry for somebody it means feel pity or sympathetic for somebody because they are in a bad situation they are going through a bad situation or in a bad situation so let me show you how to use it I feel sorry for her as she lost her husband in a road accident that means I feel pity I feel sympathetic for her because she lost her husband in a road accident so like this way you can show your empathy towards other that I really feel sorry for you and use this in your everyday English conversation to sound quite empathetic so up next we are going to turn our attention to the ninth one that is take note of something let me repeat it's take note of something it means to notice and give special attention to something or someone because it's important that's called take note of something so let me show you how to use it the doctor took careful note of my health issues that means he noticed and he gave special attention so I'm quite sure it's clear so friends at last let us turn our attention to the last one and the tenth one which is on your screen that is out of shape here out of shape means not in a physically strong and healthy condition so that's called out of shape when someone becomes unfit or becomes obese that time you can say that he is totally out of shape so let me show you how to use it he looked completely out of shape that means he was not in a very healthy condition maybe he was obese or he was looking quite unfit so that's why this expression is used that he looked completely out of shape so like this way you can use this beautiful expression in your everyday English conversation so friends today I give you some extremely powerful English expressions for your English conversation practice and you can incorporate them in your day-to-day -day English conversation as well as writing so please go through the examples and try to make sentences and comment below and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to Islam zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification so stay tuned for further informative videos friends and do not forget to like share comment and subscribe to Islam zone